day everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, I'm Tintin57, back with some more PC building simulator on the console. And it was only 11 days ago when I posted the first look of the original content from PC building simulator because it had been a few years since I'd played it and I decided to go back and have a look at it. And uh, we did that first look. If you've not seen that yet, there'll be a link to it up in the top corner right now so you can go and uh, watch that one if you've not seen that one already but then straight after that video pretty much we got a new download for free and that is the PC Building Simulator IT expansion now what this does is this brings the game up to the same levels as the PC players because if you did watch that first video you'll see that I mentioned in there that um, one of my biggest gripes was that um, the console version was quite a way behind the PC version and some of the latest parts and kit just wasn't available for console. Now they've finally corrected that with this free update and it gives us a new storyline to follow and also it gives us over 20 hours of additional content which is quite nice. Now I went into it and I did the initial sort of uh, tutorial so I just wanted to jump back in today and we'll have a quick look at how it runs this is the PS4 version I'm running it on the PS5 um, but this, with a game like this there's never any issues with uh, performance it's absolutely fine whatever you're, you're playing it on um, we'll jump in this one's a bit better because with this one you're actually working for an IT company as a support guy you're receiving tickets with jobs, you're picking the tickets up, you're fixing the computers. So in the previous career, you're working for yourself and working for your uncle for a fictitious company. Um, that was a little bit repetitive, although it was good. This one actually modernizes it, let's say, and it feels a lot better, but I'm gonna jump in because I'm gonna show, I'm just gonna continue from where I was. and uh, we'll see what jobs we've got. We'll do a couple of jobs just so we can take a look. So this is the new working area. So you remember our working area last time was very small. Here's the planner where we pick the jobs up, just like we did in the other career mode. This is where we pick, I'm getting tongue tied again. This is where we pick up our uh, jobs that have come in. Um, you can see here, um, we've got one that uh, PC has to boot to the OS. We have to run Clean It Pro, remove viruses, fix the printer. We've got another one. PC can boot to OS, replace the PSU. Um, we need to upgrade the CPU in that one. But let's have a look around first. We've got a printer. And uh, we need to do some jobs on the printer, actually. Fix the printer. That's an interesting one. That's new. Uh, what else have we got? Over here is our working area. This is our inventory with all the parts. This looks familiar from the first one. Then this is our computer. That this is our computer where we, we pick up all the jobs, etc., etc. These are the working areas that we can put the uh, the PCs down that are coming in for repair. This is where we can work on those. We've even got a nice garden, but we can't go out there. I don't think we can go out there. Um, the other thing that we've got in this expansion that we didn't have before is the tablets. So if you press R1, so that you don't have to go to your PC all the time, to look at the jobs which for me was a bit of a, a bit of a bugbear because you can see me doing it in the first one I'll be working on a PC here and then I'll have to run over and look at the email to see what was required with this I can just press R1 and I can get my email and I can get into the shop to order parts etc etc I can even look at the calendar through here which is quite nice um, this is the ticketing system which I've not looked at yet so it's kind of like Trello, isn't it? This is like a Trello board. 
So as you do each thing, you just move it across into the different uh, the different areas. Part of the tutorial also, by the way, um, introduces a character called Natalia. And if there's anything needs doing by a certain day and you don't get a chance to do it, you can hand it to Natalia and she's permanently on the night shift so she can fix it. So these two, these two PCs we've got now need to be fixed by tomorrow. So if I run out of time, we'll give those to Natalia and hopefully she's able to fix them. So let's pick up a job. Let's bring up the tablet again and just double check again what uh, we need. So we've got this one from Matt Wilcom. He needs the PC to boot to OS, run Clean It Pro, fix the printer, remove viruses. So we've got that one. We'll get $280 for that. We've got this one by Ira T. Elster. Request an urgent fix for my computer. The power seems to have shorted out. Strongly suggest you upgrade the memory to 16 gig. Uh, but it needs doing by tomorrow. So let's let's do this one, shall we? Um, so we need to upgrade the RAM to 16 gig. That's the first thing. And right now we've got Patriot Viper Steel Series 8 gig, 3000 megahertz. So we need another one of those. And um, so that'll bring us to 16 gig. We also need um, a new Cooler Master NWE Bronze 550. So this is where, this is the only thing I think that gets confusing because on a, you know, on a, a console when you're doing this, I would like to kind of cut and paste that somewhere. And I know there is... Let me just come out of this. I know there is... Um, right. Let me press home. I'm still getting used to this. There is this cloud notes. And you can kind of, you know, you can kind of type in here for the for the bits that you want. But this is fiddly on console. You know, you can type as normal. Um... If you're on PC, I imagine you know, typing notes is fine. So all the parts that you need, you can just make a list and then go to the shop. Whereas um, what I'm doing here, uh, let me come out of that one. We'll do the other one first. Whereas what I'm doing here, I'm going to the PC stats. I'm trying to memorize what it is we want. So first of all, we want. A, let's do this. We want a cooler master. MWE Bronze 550. So let's just go to PC first and we'll put it on the side ready. It's a small one, isn't it? Um, so we're going to need the parts to come for tomorrow. So we should, you know what, we should do both because um, if we're going to need parts, the, both these need doing by tomorrow. So we might as well order any parts we need uh, straight away. Um, first of all, let's work on the PC. Let's uh, let's see if we have. It says PC can boot to the OS. So let's just see where we are first with this, and if it does, that's the first thing. Although I'm suspecting if the PSU needs replacing, um, it's going to be dead, but we'll try it. Yeah, so I'm pressing power. There's nothing. So we'll just unplug all these for now. So we'll need that PSU. That's the first thing. So let's, uh, let's bring up R1 then. And if I go to the shop, I need. See what I mean? This is where you've now got to remember um, what it was. Was it Cooler Master 550, wasn't it? We've got a 500. 
We've got 550 bronze V2. I think it was this one. Let's just double check it and we'll have another look at the memory uh, whilst we're here. Yeah, so these have moved to in progress now, which is good. Um, Cooler Master MWE Bronze 550. And then we need a Patriot Viper Steel Series. 8 gig, 3000. So this 550 should work because we've got 500 there. So let's add that to the cart. Then if we go down to uh, memory, there's a Steel Series Patriot 8 gig 3000, wasn't it? There's a lot in here now they've upgraded this. Uh, Patriot Viper Steel Series, this is the one. Now we need a 3000 because it's got to be the same speed. Patriot Viper Steel Series, 8 gig, 3000 megahertz. So that's the one we want. It's black, it's the same. $100 for that one. Right, now let's just double check the jobs again. For this one. PC can boot to the OS. Remove viruses. Right, so let's just go to this one. Let's see if this one will uh, boot to the OS first. This one might be slightly easier if there's no ports. It's just booting up. Right, so that one's fine. That one will boot to the OS so we need to do a disk cleanup remove viruses then fix the printer so I don't think we need any parts for this one so if I come back out of this one now and if I bring up a tablet and go to the shop we can view the cart Uh, next day delivery is a uh, zero. So there is a, um, there is a, uh, not a cheat, there is an option that will give you next day delivery for zero. Now, because I'm working for a company rather than myself now, um, I selected that option. So we can always get the parts the day after. Um, I don't think I can change that. No, I can change that. Same day, I can get same day delivery actually. Same day delivery uh, for zero. So let's do that. Then we can get on with these jobs, can't we? It's the same price, $160. Let's buy now. <laughs> Purchases have already arrived. And there's the doorbell. So <laughs> let's get these boxes. We'll collect these. There's our two things. So that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll work on this PC first. Let's remove this. And it's the PSU we want. And the PSU actually, we'll take that off anyway. If I can remember how to zoom. How do I zoom then? Well, anyway, <laughs> I can't remember how to zoom. <laughs> do you know I was doing this? Uh, oh, there we go. That's it. It's just the, it's just R two and and uh, L two. Um, let's remove the PSU. Um, We'll need to take everything out of here, I think. Might have to even take that out. So, unplug the SSD. Unplug the motherboard. 
still something else here that's uh, that's plugged in to the PSU. Let's have a look. Right, so that's the PSU out. Now we want to install the PSU, so let's come down here. It's going to be a lot to actually put back in. Uh, let's have a look. Where is power supplies? So that's broken. That's the one that's just come out. This is the one we actually want, so let's install it. And now we've got a lot of cables to put back in, so let's do that. Let's have a look. Connect the case. Connect the SSD. I'm going to connect the front panel. Is that everything? We seem to take out more than that, you know. It seemed like it to me. Um, Oh, the computer is coming on, look. Right, so that's good. Um, actually, you know what we didn't do? Let's turn it off. We didn't put the RAM in there. So let's install the RAM. I'd forgotten about that. So if we come down to memory, this is the one we want. So let's select it. Now, where even is the RAM? There's the memory clips. Right, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Install the RAM. Do I need to open the clip at the other side? Right, there we go. So that's the RAM in there. Let's just now double check. So, uh, upgrade to 16 gig of RAM has gone green. Everything's gone green on this. So the only things we need to do on this one now is go back and put the PC parts back. So we want the side panel on there. That's the first thing. Then we want to do the top actually. There was one on the top, wasn't there? Top panel. Let's do that. And then we have got that PCI cover. I don't think I took that out, did I? I didn't take that out. That's already in the uh, that's already in the inventory. So I think that's everything. Um, so let's put this one. Let's turn the power off because this one's finished now. Place in the delivery area. So. Pick up PC. That one's done. Let's just check that it's done. So we can collect that one. So that one's done. And look at that. We got uh, we got a five star, a five smiley feedback for that one. Uh, and we made a 390 profit because we got paid 550 we only spent 160 so that's good um, let's have a look at what Matt needs doing we already know it can boot to, to OS we need to run clean it pro which is a disk cleanup uh, fix the printer remove viruses so let's do that um, what we need to do is work on the PC we need to go to install. We need to put in this USB drive that's got the programs on there. Then if we come to the actual computer itself, 
It was Clean It Pro, wasn't it? So if we just go to Add Remove Programs. Just scroll down a little bit. Where's Clean It Pro? There it is. Let's install that. Interestingly, you can see Fall Guys is there in the Add Remove programs. Now, I don't know whether or not that works or not. So this is going to put Clean It Pro in. Then what we're going to do is run the virus scanner once this reboots. Now, it didn't ask us to... Didn't ask us to run clean it pro it just wanted it in there so anyway let's do this first uh, 490 files are infected we'll clean those so that's that done let's quickly go back to the tablet it does actually say run clean it pro so let's go back and run it Welcome to Clean It Pro. When was the last time you felt clean? <laughs> this sounds dodgy. Click to search and remove unnecessary files. So I'm kind of thinking, is it automated? Or do you choose which files you want to get rid of? Right, it says it's complete. Let's go back to the tablet and see how we are. Place in the delivery area. Fix the, com fix the uh, printer. Okay, so we can just pick that up, which is quite easy. We'll put it in the delivery area. Now we've got to fix the printer. The printer is shared between everyone at, at Iritech. That's our company. It's your job to keep it running. If it stops, turn it on and off again. There's a bit of an in-joke in for anyone who works in, the, in an IT technician role. No look. Select the area above the printer to try percussive maintenance. All right. So... There's the on-off button. So, I'm a feeling it isn't going to work because... I think it would say, wouldn't it? Oh no, it's fixed. It is fixed. I, I thought, with the way it was suggesting there was something else to press, um, it, it was kind of suggesting to me that it wasn't going to work. But anyway, it did. Um, so I'm just having a look down because sometimes there are hidden things in the description as well but the objectives are all done sometimes in here it'll say um, you might want to change the cables in the computer which, which are often optional jobs so they don't appear down this side in the objectives but it's something that they would like to have and that, if you miss it can be the difference between what kind of review you get at the end um, there's nothing in there so I think we're good and once again we got a five star review and that was 280 pound profit because we didn't need parts we had everything already in the workshop and both our jobs now have gone to completed so no other jobs there for today so Looking on the calendar, we're on the 6th of Jan. Nothing else booked in right now. So that's the end of our day's work. And it was a good day's work. We got both jobs done in time. Um, it is handy that you can uh, get the parts delivered now the same day for free. That is a useful little thing. Um, it still takes some brain power to remember what pieces you need for each computer. So it is a good brain challenge, this game, I find. I quite enjoy it. Um, it's uh, it's a bit more involved than you would think. Um, but yeah, remembering the parts, getting to the shop, getting everything ordered. Um, the, the ability to work on several pieces at once is great. So I'm really looking forward to playing this expansion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. Then I know that um, it's, been, it's been popular with you guys and you would like to see some more. Um, the light switch isn't doing anything, is it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, leave me a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We're nearly at 1,000. We're less than 10 from 1,000. Thanks to everybody that already has. Take care. 
see you on the next one. Bye for now.